This video is going to show how I went about painting up the terrain in the War Cry Heart of Gur box set. Prepared it and then primed it in mahogany. I used the surfacer from Mr. Hobby. Um, I did that because it's the most readily available uh, primer that I have uh, where I'm living. And uh, it's cheap in comparison to all the other primers um, that I have access to. Okay, so for a lot of this is going to be a lot of dry brushing, um, with the exception of certain details like the ropes that will probably get taken care of later on. Um, I'm going to use a combination of makeup brushes that I got from the Dollar Store. Oh, yeah. Gorthor Brown and this big brush. So basically dry brushing, if you don't know what it is, or you've never done it, which is okay, um, because you might be like, what the fuck is dry brushing? How do I do it? Well, it's not all that difficult. Um, I have confidence you can figure it out. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to get paint on your brush and you're going to try to, you know, kind of get some of that paint off on a paper towel or something to where it almost feels like there's almost no paint on it. And then you're just going to start attacking your model. Alright, so next step, we're just going to do the same thing, but, um, now we're going to use this Bane Blade Brown. Tark Stone. That's basically the wood and we have, you know, some something going on there. We're going to do the bamboo and I'm starting with XV and my XV is a little dry and it's having a little bit of a problem. So I make some thinner in with it. is our Baylor Brown step and this paint is in a little bit better condition than my XV. It's going to layer, layer things up slowly and see what happens. If it's not enough then we'll just go back and do it again. So the next layer is going to be Zamzi Desert. Cool. So, um, I mean, basically just spent some time working up the bamboo a little bit and it looks all right. I, um, I went back in and uh, just like on the edges and whatnot, uh, did a little, little bit of dry brushing with more gas bone, uh, just because it's a lighter version of this color, um, but very light, uh, not a whole lot. And really, you probably don't even really need to do it, but eventually we're gonna go back in and paint all of these uh, ropes and then of course the bone and these thorns on the tree uh, but for right now um, it's just the wood and the bamboo it's looking all right using a castilian green like this uh, really dark olive well, green i'm going to base coat basically the stone and all these bones here yeah. um, the spots that i'm doing the green um, is basically on the stone and any any spot with bone I've done it on a couple. I still have uh, a few more to do, but just to give you an idea of what's going on. And then this bigger piece here. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're just trying to set up a layer, um, a base to dry brush over. You can see this uh, flat brush really 
Let me get some paint on there quick. All right, so um, it, I'm not gonna lie, it took about an hour, a little over an hour um, to go through and, and base coat all of this green. We're just gonna dry brush all this bone and we're gonna get um, some of the sandry dust on here to kind of give it that boneness um, to something something like this. Do the next step um, from Zandri dust, which is Ushapti bone. So we'll just keep doing that and going over it and uh, <clears throat> trying to see the change. Um, between that, you know, more khaki color to this more ivory, ivory white. The last step we're gonna put on it is Screaming Skull. We're basically just gonna go back over, you know, maybe the central area a little bit, just this, maybe not so much in the back, back here, but just this top area a little bit. And, and then maybe across these teeth. I don't know, I can see that. Take a look at some of the bone that we've gotten done. Um, so it's looking pretty good against the trees and against against the bamboo. It's got, um, you know, it's definitely looking cool. So, I mean, there are minor details still like the thorns and stuff on the ground and then some other trees that um, were covered up by different colors. So all that will be touched up in the end, but for right now, um, the last thing that we're gonna do is just get these stone bits and these pieces of terrain. So that'll be the next step. So the last steps that we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, the stone color on here. So I, I did a couple of tests last night. Um, I went a little crazy on this one, so I had to wash it down to get that green tinge back. But we're gonna start with um, Celestia, our Celestra Gray, and we're gonna do that one, okay? Wash it in Athonian Camo Shade, just to kind of take um, or soften up some of the spottiness from the dry brushing. Just slather washing all this uh, stone, so you can kind of see um, in some of these spots are doing a little too much, but it, it's kind of giving a little bit of a green tint um, to this, this stone, and um, that's kind of what we want, give the impression of moss. And we're going to go back and uh, paint in all these trees. And we're going to start with that base color of dried bark. So the wash is, uh, for the most part, is dry on the stone. And we're going to do the last step. Um, which is just to highlight the stone up a little bit and we're going to use a layer paint called Uthwan Grey. A little bit, just a little bit of highlight at the top of these stone pieces and we're almost done. Um, the only thing that's left now is to go in and uh, do all the ropes. Basically been taking some time to paint these, uh, these twine, like the twine or the ropes on the bamboo. Um, I'm doing that in black. Um, and it's, uh, it's a long process, so if you want to skip it, and go ahead and do it, but I'm using a, a size three brush with a really good tip on it, and uh, it's helping. Um, but I can tell now it's going to take a while to get all those uh, those ropes painted up.
Okay, so um, basically this last part is painting all of these thorns. And the color that we're using for that is um, this one right here, this green or pink. So it's basically our last step. You don't have to do this, but uh, basically I'm going through and just staining the teeth with uh, some Agrax. And that's just basically to give a little bit different tone between the teeth and the bone color. Thanks for watching the video to this point. I hope it helps you find inspiration or motivation and paint up your own set. A lot of easy techniques used in this video, but it does the job really well. Thanks again. Happy hobbying.